Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today with a new topic talking uh, the compliments. Alright. So today we discuss the compliment. We've seen the uh, in the previous lecture that zero's complement is one and one's complement is zero, but today we see how. Alright, right? we've not seen how it is, okay? So uh, what is a compliment basically? Compliment is uh, we, we, we come to an example, okay? Let's say we we you have studied it in the previous classes, in the very junior classes, about the universal sets. So let's say I have a universal set, which is A, B, C, up to we have a Z. All right? And you know about the subset, so I can make a subset of it, a first subset A, I can make it a set of vowels, that is A, E, I, O, U, and I can make another subset of the B, that will be of consonants. So, so these two combined would make the universal set, all right? Now, complement is what? Complement is everything other than the than the than the what's complement is required, all right? Okay. Everything other than the given, all right? So, how is that? Let's say I write it over here, complement everything other than the given. And the given means what? For, to, for which you have to find the complement, all right? So let's say I have to find the complement of A. So the complement of A would is denoted like this, we've seen. And this would be equal to the universal set minus A, which would be equal to the set of consonants. All right. Now, in our this course, the two-valued Boolean algebra, the universal set that we have is of binary. That is zero and one. So, which means we have these two. So now, if if we make the subsets, that is a uh, is a zero and b is a one. So now, if you if you want the complement of a, so a's complement would be what? This zero one minus this one. So this would be minus the zero. So this would be a one. And similarly, if you want this 1's complement, that is B's complement, so this would be the 0, 1, minus this 1, so this would be a 0. And this is how it is, alright? Similarly, we have the complements for numbers, alright? Complements for numbers, and they are of two types. They are, uh, number 1 is the R's complement. And the second is R minus 1's complement. All right, R's complement and R minus 1's complement. This R's complement, this R stands for the base we've seen. This is called the Redix complement. Redix complement. All right, and this, this R minus 1's complement is called the diminished Redix complement also. Okay. Now, how do we find this complement? So we see that through it, through uh, examples, all right? So let's say let's say we want the complement of seven. Let's say we want the complement of seven, the tens complement of seven. The r's complement, seven's complement, it would be what? Seven uh, r uh, complement of seven, and this seven, let's say, is in base ten. So, which means we need the tens complement of this 7. So, this would be everything minus this, 9. So, 10 minus 7, and this would be a 3. All right. Now, how is this? How is this? We have a formula for this R's complement. And the formula is what? Formula. We have R to the power N minus this capital N. Now, what are these? All right. So this R is the base, okay, uh, this small n is the number of digits uh, in, in which you have to find the complement and this capital N, this is the, the actual number, the given number. So for example, in this, in this scenario, we have the R is 10, we have R is 10. Uh, the number of digits is 1 and the actual digit is 7. So we have what? We have 10 to the power 1 
minus 7 and this would be 3. So that is the uh, case, all right? So this is the R's complement. Let's say we have another example. We have, a, we have an example. Uh, okay. Let's say we have the number 5690 and we need this complement. So we know that this 5690 is, let's say, in base 10. So, so what is it? The number of digits we have are 4. So we have a 10 to the power 4 and minus 5690, which gives uh, 4310, okay? 4310. This is the complement of this. All right? Let's have a look now. Let's say we need the two, we need the two's complement, two's complement of, of a number 1101, 1101, all right? Now, how do you do this? The base is two, the R would be two in this case, all right? The uh, number of digits are four. And this uh, given number is a 1101, okay? So how do you do this? Now, 2 to the power 4 minus 1101. But 2 to the power 4 is 16 minus 1101. But this 2 to the power 4 now, this is in base 10. And this is in base 2. And we need the 2's complement. So you need to convert this base 10 into a base 2. And you know how to convert it, so 16 and in and, and base uh, 2 would be what? It would be a 1, 0, 0, 0. Or 0 to the power 1, to the power 2, to the power 3, and one more 0. So four zeros. Four zeros after a 1, and then we have minus 1, 1, 0, 1. Now you know the binary subtraction. And you subtract it, and the answer is what? It is uh, triple 0, 1, 1. All right? This is the 2's complement. Whatever complement you need, you, you, you have to convert this into that base. For example, here we need the 2's complement, so we converted this uh, base 10 into the base 2. If we, have, if we need the 8's complement, so we convert this base 10 into base 8. All right? The next thing we have is the R minus 1's complement. R minus 1's complement. All right? And the formula for that is what? This is equal to uh, r to the power n minus capital N minus 1. All right. Now, if you see, this r to the power n minus n, this is r's complement. This is r's complement. So, I can write this r minus 1 complement as, as, as uh, r's complement minus 1. Or I can write r minus 1 complement plus 1. I can write R's complement is equal to R minus 1's complement plus 1. All right? This is a, an important postulate, let's say. All right? Now, let's say we, we have an example. We need the 7's complement. Let's say we have an example. The 7's complement of the octal number 5674 octal number 5674 is unknown now if we, if i was given a, a, a seventh complement directly so i could have I, I could have done it through the what through the r's complement but here i am given uh, the seventh complement of the octal number and i know that the, uh, in case of octal number, we have the base is equal to 8, and we need the 7's complement, so here we have to find the R minus 1's complement, all right? So just simply putting it into that formula, uh, what is that? Uh, yeah. R, is, uh, R is 8, and to the power N is the number of digits, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 to the power 4, and then... Uh, minus this uh, this number five six seven four and then we have a minus one all right now what is this eight to the power four this is four zero nine six this is four zero nine six 
minus 5, 6, 7, 4, minus 1. Now, again, this 4, 0, 9, 6 uh, is in base 10, and we need it in base 8. So you know how to convert it into base 8. So I will write it directly over here again. Uh, this would be 1 and 4 zeros. 2, 3, 4. This is now in base 8. Minus 5, 6, 7, 4, and minus a 1. All right. Now let's say first I minus this 1 from it. So, so have a look. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, minus 1. Okay. So this is also in base 8. Now let's see. When you, in, in case of base 8, the, dec, the, the borrow is at 8. Okay. So we have, we have uh, like this. We have this borrow. This becomes an 8, and then we have another borrow, so this becomes a 7. This is an 8, now we have another borrow, this becomes 8, this becomes 7. Another borrow, so this becomes 8, and this becomes 7. Now 8 minus 1 is a 7, and this is 7, this is 7, and this is 7, and this is 0. So we have a 7, 7, 7, all right? And now we, we minus this. So we have 7, 7, 7, 7, minus 5, 6, 7, 4, and this will give us what? This will give us 2103. 2103. Now this is the seventh complement, which means this is the this is the R minus one's complement. And we know that we can find the R's complement, which means we can find the eighth complement of it uh, uh, by adding just a one. Which means the eighth complement of this number five six seven four. This would be equal to two one zero four. All right. Uh, so I hope the basic understanding of the R's complement and R minus one is clear. I'll be ending this lecture over here. Still, if you have any doubt, you can ask it in the comment section. And that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.